Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the TEMT 6000 ambient light sensor for Arduino. You can get the code and schematics for this module uh, by clicking the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. This is the module with V that's a voltage or VCC, we have ground and S is for the signal. The actual sensor is this one, which is very tiny. On this side we have nothing. We have a screw hole, so if you can screw it somewhere. But still this piece can be broken and the board become very tiny. Uh, this is actual TEM T6000 photo transistor. We have the three pins and other than that there is nothing else. So I've soldered it in this way so I, my wires will be here and this will be exposed openly but if you need to connect it from the other side that's also fine. But 14 millimeter is the length, the width is 8 millimeter. The depth is 2.7 millimeter and it weighs less than a gram. Here is the data sheet for it. As you can see, this is the actual package. Size is 4 by 2 by 1.05 millimeter, but in our module it's uh, a little larger. And this is the NPN, and, uh, the, the NPN transistor. And peak sensitivity is, with a human eye, it says at 700, 570 nanometer. That's a visible light for a human. And it can be, a, um, it can be used in phone, automotive, or other, other devices. The voltage of collector emitter is 6 volts. And emitter collector uh, is 1.5. So that's the maximum value that, that you can get. And the collector current is 20 milliampere. Power is dissipated at 100 milliwatt. And the junction temperature, so up to 100 degrees Celsius, it can work. So the, the dark current at 5 volts when emitter is zero would be typically 3 nanoampere when there is absolute dark. As you can see here, this is the collector, which is on this side and the two pieces, one there and then here, this is the emitter. So that, that side is the emitter, which is a signal out. This is connected from with this uh, with 10 kilo ohm to the ground. So we say millivolt divided by 1000, we get volt, but we convert the result into double. Uh, in order to have the decimal points here. And then, so the result is here as volts, and then we print the volts. This is a value that you see, and then after that we print the text, this MV at the end, that is in millivolts. And then, because this was the actual volts, here we print the volt with three decimal places here, and then we print the capital V at the end. And then we are reading it, this is a delay of 1000 millisecond or one second, and then it continues like that. To control something based on uh, these values, and let's say in terms of uh, actually millivolts, you can, you can do so many things. For example, if uh, millivolt is bigger than uh, 1300, and then you can do something here turn on a relay, control something, send SMS, whatever you want. So based on the condition, you can do that. The sensor has many applications. It can be used in automotive, in the tablet, mobile phone, and, he, and many other devices to detect ambient light. And based on the light, adjust the brightness of the screen. For example, your mobile phone will probably have this chip that uh, adjusts the um, display according to the ambient light uh, that the phone is there. So this has many applications and it, it can be used in, with Arduino to uh, control um, devices based, based on light condition. Here is how you connect the wires. So we have S, 
G and V. F is a signal. The green wire is connected to A1. G is the ground and it's connected to the ground or G and D. And V is for the voltage. That's the collector connected to 5 volts. Here is a demonstration. As you can see, we have enough light here and the value is displayed here 2.56 or whatever. So I bring my hand and make it darker so you can see 58 millivolts and that jumps. But if I make it a little darker slowly, you can get the different values. Or if I just turn off the light. You see it is now around 2000 millivolts. Turn on the light it's 2500 or 2.6. This was an introduction to TEMT 6000 photo transistor ambient light sensor. I'll have uh, other videos related to this if needed. Uh, please make sure to subscribe so you can get updates. Thank you for watching.